Green activist group Himpunan Hijau say they are only days away from meeting their target of 1 million signatures against the Linus rare earth processing plant in Pahang. We know any time, any time could be, could be the, uh, we reached a target. So uh, we have to work hard and then uh, everyone is uh, excited uh, at the moment. So I believe uh, uh, one or two days, uh, probably over the weekend, we can celebrate, Malaysian can celebrate and Malaysian all together can declare to the world, uh, we together uh, 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 stand together, speak in one voice and uh, act in unison and tell the world Malaysia only welcome green and sustainable investment. And that is the way we want to move forward. Wong Tak and other Himpunan Hijau activists have been camping out at Dataran Merdeka for the past few weeks in a bid to gather written support that the public is against the plant and its potentially radioactive waste. While the response has been encouraging, Wong Tak was disappointed that the Deputy Minister of Science and Technology, Abu Bakar Muhammad Dia, described the plant as being as safe as a ketchup factory after he visited the plant himself. Person, a minister, huh? Uh, who cannot function, who cannot carry out their duty and mislead and, and lie to the people should step out immediately. Immediately. But the Deputy Minister's remark reflected the government's general stance on the matter, which is that the Linus plant is safe and that all radioactive waste will be exported out of the country. Smisha Naidu, Kini TV.